Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm gonna to show you how to resize this 3D letter M, um, or 3D letters in general, but I'm using the letter M um, for today's project. All right, so uh, let's get started. Before we do though, if you haven't subscribed, please do, I really, really appreciate all the support. All right, so um, I'm gonna upload this into um, my Design Space Canvas, and I use Nomara Quintella's files. So I use her files for a couple different things. I've always loved them. There's never an issue, which is why I love it. So, all right. Um, now, today's 3D letter is a little bit different than what I've done in the past. And the reason is on my latest uh, shopping spree to Michael's, I spotted 12 by 24 paper. Now, I already had 12 by 24 paper because I ordered from Cricut. I like having the 12 by 24 paper because um, occasionally, like when, you know, I can't get something to cover up because of the, the, the color, like the it's not glitter cardstock or whatever else, and I want something bigger, but I don't want the seam in there, I will use the 12 by 24. I will also use 12 by 24 paper when I'm doing banners. And the reason is because it takes so long, right? Like if your banner has a lot of pieces to it, uh, I like to just use 12 by 24 and cut as many as I can in that one cut and come out so that it's just less sheets, less mats, like having to go through and having to, you know, be there to load and unload and take off and all that stuff. So um, 12 by 24 paper, now that it's also avail available at Michael's, I wanted to show how to do these big uh, 3D letters. That, <laughs> it's a lot of talking. Okay, so let me uh, make this just a little bit smaller so you can see. So Namara's files, they're amazing. I like the cut file or, or the cut dash lines because it makes it easier to fold. So instead of these being score lines, these are cut lines, okay, just so that you know. So the first thing that I will do is I will ungroup it and then I'm going to line these up. I'm going to align and I'm gonna do align bottom so that I could see which one is the tallest. This tab is the tallest and it's 10.4. So really, if we're using just regular uh, 12 by 12 cardstock, then what you would do in this case is you've lined them all up. Don't worry about this not being um, accurate because it has those little um, symbols to tell you where it goes. So sorry, let me pause right there for a second. So like this has a circle, right? So that means the circle starts up here and then you see the next piece is this piece. So if the circle is this one and that piece is short, obviously it doesn't go here. The next piece, so it's gonna start at the circle. The next two pieces will be this little V of the M and then it would end here. So this little guy right here is this, 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 and this. This one starts at the uh, triangle, so it starts here. And because it's in the middle, you know the other two pieces go that way. So it's just really nice how everything is so easy to put together. All right, so if we're using regular 12 by 12 cardstock, what you would do at this point is I would change the height to 11.5, and then I would know that the max size for my M is going to be six inches. That's it. Uh, because this is the longest tab, and this tab, if we don't wanna slice it up, and we don't, because it's just so complicated. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's worth the effort. So this is the max that you can do your letter M. Now that we have 12 by 24, um, we have more options. We can, you know, here it's like, it's kind of funny. Um, it depends on how much paper you want to use, right? But also the max that you can go on this side for your letter M is, we can still only go 11, 11 and a half inches wide, right? So I cut out this letter M. I did use, it's pretty big because you can see here. I mean, look how big it is next to my face, right? So this is, let's see, I don't remember. This is actually uh, seven, 0.75 inches across and the height is eight and a half inches. So let's look at this. So this was um, eight and a half inches. So I got an extra two and a half inches on this by using 12 by 24 cardstock. So what you can kind of do here is you can kind of play around with the numbers to see 
uh, how much paper you want to use. So let's say we change this to, um, let's change it to 20 inches and see what we have, okay? So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that we don't have to scroll so much. So at 20 inches, my letter M is nine and a half inches and 10 and a half inches high. That's pretty good. So then I know that this paper, um, it's gonna go all 20 inches. So what I mean about how much paper you wanna use, now is a good time to go to make it just to see, okay? So I'm gonna click on mat and continue. And oh, I just realized something. Do you see these cut lines? They're not attached to anything, right? So let's cancel out of this, let's do it right. So with Nomara, um, you have to grab each set of tabs and attach. So now the cut lines are gonna go exactly where you see on the tabs. So each one needs to, needs to be attached. And, oh, it did attach already. All right, I'm gonna do this one, attach, and then this one, attach. Okay, so now let's go make it. Um, and you know, these little pieces here, I'm gonna ungroup it and I'm gonna get rid of these pieces. These pieces we don't need in our, um, in our project right now. You only need it as a visual for when you go back in. So you can always, you know, get that and look at it again. But let's go and make it and see what we have here. So on mat and I'm gonna continue because I have the Cricut Maker 3 so technically if I had the right the smart materials I wouldn't need the mat. So let's see what we've got. Okay so here I'm gonna make this 12 by 24 as well and see. So my two M's fit basically on one and yeah so here's the deal. You see I can move one of these guys so let's click on the three dots move object um, ooh, I don't think so. It's so skinny right here. So actually I can't. At this size, I would be using two 12 by 24 sheets here. You're gonna have some wasted space. So at this point, you can decide, should I make it even bigger, right? So let's cancel out of this for a second. Let's look at our M's. Our M's are at 10 and a half inches, right? So let's go another inch and see. Um, so on this one, I don't know what another inch is gonna look like. So let's uh, let's do 21 inches and see. That's at 11.1, .1. so let's grab the whole thing. And the reason why I'm grabbing the whole thing is you need everything to readjust. You can't just change the size of your M, you need the tabs to also change accordingly. So when you're making changes to the height or the width, you gotta grab everything, which makes it a little bit difficult because you know I'm gonna put 21.5, oops and see if my M is at 11 and a half. Okay, this is close enough. So my letter is gonna be almost 11 and a half inches. Let's go to make it now. And the reason why I did that is I figured we should maximize, you know, we were already wasting two sheets. Let's get this one to be super long. Look at how long this tab is. It is almost 24 inches, this tab. So, and then our M, uh, the reason why I chose the M to be at most 11 and a half inches is so that it can be on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. Um, all right, so this is gonna take two 12 by 24 and two 12 by 12. Now, this is, this is how the assembly works, okay? So you see my 3D letter M? So your two M's are the front and back, right? And the tabs is what gives it the space in between. So this is basically what you see here. Now, what I like to do is if you're decorating the whole letter M, I like to just duplicate this because I want to build my letter M and have it done. And then I have my extra M right here. So I'm going to decorate everything on here. So this is like the stitching because, you know, like I'm doing Mirabelle, right? So I want the stitching. It would be really hard to stitch it on here and then also glue it as part of my block. So instead, I'm gonna make an extra M so that all my designs go on this M. And you kind of want the, you know, it's, I, I don't think it detracts from it at all. And it just gives it more height or more depth. So for me, it's, there's no, there's no negative to doing this extra one other than you lose a sheet of paper. But it's so much easier to decorate on this third M. 
So I'm going to do that. So you just want to duplicate this one M and that's it. So I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way how to resize what I'm thinking when I'm resizing so that you understand how to maximize your paper. All right, I hope that was helpful. Let me know what you think, what you wanna see, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.